All right. All right. Well, I got this. We, we'll do this. What what made y'all decide that y'all were the ones to start your own podcast? Uh, CEO and I have been friends for a really long time, and we've had a lot of one on one conversations that have resulted in belt bursting laughter, <laughs> me peeing on my pants, yes, um, peeing on my pants all the time. Mm. Um, so much so that when we are uh, gonna go out for the night. She would say things like, okay, so before we go out, I know this is going to be funny and I'm hanging out with you, so I'm going to put a pad on. I Not because put a she pad has a on. period. I got to avoid drinking. And then this bitch will be out and about and she'll be like, why aren't you drinking anything? You got to drink. That's not healthy. And I'm like, bitch, I'm trying not to drink because you're going to make me pee my pants. I just know it's going to happen. Because that brings the funny. But the thing <laughs> is that like, when you have those really good conversations... And it's like, yo, like, I wish there was a way we could record this. I wish there was a way for other people to experience and to see this. Like, this shit's better than TV. And it just got to a point where it's like, yo, we should start a podcast. It was actually an ongoing joke for a really long time. Every time we would lose it and just literally be laughing to the point where you have no air or no sound coming out of you because you're laughing so hard. We were like, oh, my God, like other people need to hear this shit. Yeah. And then I was like, we just need to do a podcast. I think we talked about it for at least a year at before least, we yeah. did it, started doing it. For sure. Because a lot of people try and a lot of people stop, you know, because yeah. they think that everyone like here, for instance, uh, where I'm at, like a lot of people will start one and then they get like 10 shows in and realize like, oh, like these friends of mine won't always show up every week. And, well, and I think that's this. another thing that we kind of decided from the very beginning. Um, we kind of told ourselves that if we were going to go into this, we were going to go into it full throttle. We were not going to take any breaks. We were not going to half ass it. We were going to go and be consistent because we live in a microwave society. And the moment that someone forgets about you and then picks up on someone else, that's it. It's a wrap for you. So you have to be consistent and kind of stay in their face. And then another thing is like, that's a contingency. So it's like if you're if the entertainment value of your show is contingent upon you having a guest, then you're always going to be at the mercy of having to find a guest. And you have to do that every week or right depending on how frequent your show is. So the thing is that being that we're not a guest driven show, we're going to bring entertainment every week regardless. It's like we're not at the mercy of having to task ourselves with finding guests every fucking week. We'll have them every now and then. But with or without a guest, like the show's still gonna be popping. Right. That's uh that's actually one of the main things I I I, I will tell other people is like there's like for me I, it I went fifty 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 kind of famous episodes basically fifty plus podcasts before I even talked about relationships because I I thought it would it, it was important that I didn't have like this crutch of like being of talking about you know basically why men and women disagree um because i just thought it would be easy so i said to myself like i want to consciously never talk about that and when i did talk about it it would be like important but right. then i wanted to have guests but uh, like you guys not want to feel like i have to lean on having a guest every week um in order to have a that. conversation i feel like you uh tariq nasheed like when i look at guys like you and then i see people who tell me oh i'm not podcasting anymore because i can't find a partner i just feel like if you're passionate about it and you feel like you have a message and you have talent you want to share with the world you find a format you find a way to figure it out if you're like i want to podcast badly but i can't find a partner don't let that stop you and if you can't figure out how to do it then study other people that are the one man show Correct. and develop that skill and yes. do whatever it is you want to do. The moment that you put your destiny in the hands of another man, you're doomed. Facts of life. That's another bar. Uh, yep. But yeah, my I, I started with a purpose. Like I had a whole point of reason why I want to start. It was just another branch of things that I was doing. But it allowed me, like I always said with my podcast, I was always going to talk in my voice. Like I wasn't, like I do filmmaking stuff and I go do Q&As and then I got a whole shit and like they see a certain version fa family friendly version of me because of what they think who they think i am and i said when i started this podcast like this will be my voice so if any of the white people i'm always in front of heard it like like you would listen and go oh 
he's black black like he's for real black he's not like you know he just can speak well in front of a group and and that was the most important thing to me but i said to myself like i was going to purposely like cater to a uh, a black audience as well because that is the hardest group to get and keep yeah i feel like for me this has been a big struggle because i've developed so many great connections like on the corporate side, not just with my job, but I've gone to these like really like affluent business conferences and I've rubbed shoulders with some really like serious, like conservative people in the game. And I'm like, yo, if I start doing this podcast and people from those circles catch wind of this, they're going to be like, yo, this bitch is ratchet. And then I'm like, are they even going to still want to deal with me? I don't know, but it's like, I'm at a stage in life where it's like, you know, we all have those two sides to us. Mm. Even white people do. Yeah. Like the ones that say nigger at the kitchen table, but won't say it to your face. Yeah, that's a side. I feel like, that's a side. Yeah, I feel like everybody has the A side and everybody has the B side. And it's like, this podcast is me letting my hair down, being unapologetically myself. And I feel like if you decide as an adult to tune into a podcast that may not necessarily cater to your interests, but you're just tuning in with the intentions to like, criticize criticize and be a part of something that's not meant for you then i'm gonna let you deal with that accordingly because it's like this podcast is meant for who it's meant for right you know what i mean and at the end of the day we definitely came into the situation saying exactly the same thing which was we wanted to we wanted to be ourselves period we wanted to whoever was listening to kind of feel like a fly on the wall with two girlfriends just being girlfriends talking about the things that they normally would talk about and you just having insight for that moment of what it is that's being discussed. Like being vulnerable. Yeah, you can agree with it if you want to. You can disagree with it if you want to. And we're so okay with you disagreeing. Write us in. Tell us your point of view. We're open-minded enough to listen to that and maybe even discuss it moving forward. Yeah, I'm not trying to be an authority figure. I'm not trying to change your mind on what you feel. At the end of the day, that's the problem with this society is that there's not enough communicating. There's not Mm. enough different of expressions and understanding. We listen to try and prove a point to you on why you're wrong and so of just learning from your own opinion and i think that it adds so much value for men because men get like again to be the fly on the wall and see the shit that women really talk about well at least women like us you know because i i understand i can't represent the face of every woman out there but there's a lot of women that relate to us and that as for other women unfortunately there's women out there that can't find good girlfriends so i feel like for those who don't really have that BFF yeah, that, let us be that, for that you. stimulates their mind. That's funny. That's all that stuff. I feel like they, they turn on this show and it fills that void for them, whether they just relocated to a new town mm-hmm. or they haven't had luck or they're a bit introverted or whatever the case is, it gives them a sense of community, I guess. And I really, I really like that we can be that for them to help make them feel normal. Like when people are like, yo, I thought I was the only one that dealt yeah, with that. Sure. You know, that, that makes me want to share more, you know, and, and those are the awesome things that I really enjoy. And those are all the intentions that we had in mind when we started this thing. So it's working out pretty well. Boom. Well, that is Zio and Rome of the Zio and Rome podcast that you can uh, hear more of topics like this or kind of maybe mm-hmm. on um, uh, on their podcast on all podcast streaming platforms and this is why they are uh, allegedly the uh, greatest podcast of 2018 is that what you say what's the undisputed. line undisputed okay okay well, I, I, there's some dispute out there but well if you'd like to dispute it. it you can go ahead and email us at zeonrome at gmail.com all right now, before I wrap this up and end it, I'm bringing back something that because I normally would like play a, a song that I like, uh, I'm going to go with something I did at the beginning when I used when I that I used to do early on with the podcast. And I would ask my guests, what are they listening to and what are they watching? So, OK, between both of you, give me a show that you're watching. 